Hey guys, this is Slyman. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the Explore Scientific ED80 Carbon Fiber Apochromatic Triplet Telescope. Uh, this is Explore Scientific's smallest uh, triplet refractor at 80 millimeters, um, but I think you'll see uh, bigger doesn't always mean better. So uh, we'll jump right in and take a look at some of the cool features that this telescope has. Just like the other telescopes in the series, it does come with a two inch star diagonal that's 99% reflective and dielectric coated as well as two uh, focal extenders. Um, it does not come with the hard carrying case. Uh, it is a nice little case. It's actually perfect sized for it. Um, the scope is so small already that um, they still had room to, to give you a spot for um, a finder scope or a guide scope, some eyepieces. Um, I usually keep my auto, my guide camera actually in this big two inch eyepiece spot. Um, and then there's also a spot here where you can keep like wires or whatever you want. So the hard case is not included, um, but it is a nice addition if you want to get one to protect your telescope. With the dew shield collapsed, the telescope is only 15 inches long. Um, it basically looks like just a giant finder scope. Uh, I, I guess you could use it as a big finder scope or a, a really nice guide scope, or you could even piggyback it on top of like a Newtonian or something like that, or Schmidt Cassegrain. At only five pounds, it really doesn't add that much more weight to your setup. And then if you want to do wide field views for a night, um, you could do that. Or you could even uh, view through your Schmidt Cassegrain and view through your refractor on top. So uh, a lot of versatility with the 80 millimeter telescope. The ED80 has a 480 millimeter focal length. So with the 80 millimeter diameter, that gives you a focal ratio of F6. Of the refractors in this FCD1 carbon fiber series, that would make the 80 millimeter the fastest one. Uh, F6, you can get pretty good details out of nebulae and galaxies with relatively short exposures in a DSLR or CCD camera. Um, a lot of people will even take this a step further and put in a 0.8x focal reducer, and that will give them an even shorter focal length and an even faster focal ratio, and so they can produce some pretty amazing wide field images. Attaching a camera to the ED80 carbon fiber um, couldn't be easier. I use the Canon EOS Rebel SL1. This is a super lightweight, uh, super low profile uh, DSLR. It's full spectrum modified so I can pull out a lot of the hydrogen alpha and various nebulae and it also allows me to filter out a lot of light pollution using various filters. Um, so to attach it, basically I just use a Celestron T-ring. Um, get that attached. It wants to let me here. There we go. And then I also use a Orion Zero Profile 2 inch T adapter. I just screw that in, and then that just goes right into the 2 inch focuser. The Orion 2 inch zero profile T adapter is also really nice because it makes a really tight fit in the Explore Scientific focuser. Um, and so once you compress down with the, the thumb screws and really get it tight, uh, the camera really isn't going anywhere. For astrophotography, the ED80 does a really nice job producing some really pretty wide field images. Uh, this is an image of the Orion Nebula and the Running Man Nebula that I took, and it's only about 35 minutes of total integration time. I took 10 2 minute exposures and 30 30 second exposures, and you can see there's quite a bit of detail that was produced with a full spectrum modified camera. Uh, so it does a really nice job on the wide field objects. You definitely notice some field curvature though at the edges of the image, so if you want to get really serious about imaging, you definitely would want to get a field flattener or a focal reducer field flattener combo. The biggest selling point of an 80 millimeter telescope, and this goes for any 80 millimeter really, is they're so portable and they're so lightweight, um, you really can do a lot of things with them. Uh, you can use it as a spotting scope, uh, you definitely can use it as a telescope, uh, you could go birding with it, uh, check out uh, birds on, on like a trail. Um, you could even take it to um, like a beach or a coastline and, and spot wildlife in the waters with it. Um, they're just so light and portable, you really can do a lot of things with them. And they don't take a lot of space up in your car. Um, and so they really can go anywhere with you. 
Just because the telescope weighs five pounds does not mean it can't hold any weight. Um, it comes with a really strong focuser, as most Explore Scientific refractors do. Uh, it's dual speed, has the graduation marks on it, um, so if you find a good focal spot, mark it down, you can get close to it each and every night. Um, but this is a big 35 millimeter two inch eyepiece with a big two inch um, aluminum diagonal. Uh, it weighs quite a bit and so a lot of the, the weight on this scope is at the back end and the focuser has no problem holding it down. So once that focuser is locked down, you can be pretty confident um, that it can hold its weight. So. Um, I've been pretty impressed with that. The wide field views this thing gives are incredible. 35 millimeter eyepiece, um, you're seeing a lot of sky in that. So uh, really nice focuser. It also is 360 degree rotatable. So if you want to uh, get a nice camera shot, um, say your, your framing wasn't exactly how you wanted it, you could always rotate the focuser and then lock it down to get the framing that you want refractors in the series. Uh, the focuser uh, uses compression rings to tighten down everything. So that's a nice, uh, nice feature that they have because they don't mar your eyepieces or anything like that. So your diagonal won't get uh, marred as it goes into the focuser and your eyepieces won't mar as they go into the diagonal. Like always, no review of mine would be complete without mentioning the carbon fiber body. Uh, super pretty, super strong, definitely striking as always. Uh, but what's really amazing on the 80 millimeter telescope is just how much weight it saves. The aluminum version of this telescope weighs seven pounds. The carbon fiber version weighs five pounds. So just by replacing the aluminum with carbon fiber, you're actually saving about 30% of the weight. In such a small telescope, that is a significant amount of weight. It's pretty amazing how much you can cut out just by switching the material. Um, and the carbon fiber basically makes it even more lightweight and portable. And so the 80 millimeter carbon fiber really is the king of portability. All right, guys. Well, that's my review of the super tiny Explore Scientific ED80 carbon fiber airspace triplet apochromatic refractor. A lot of people started their journey in astronomy with an 80 millimeter refractor uh, just because it gives really awesome wide field views. It's so light, so portable, they can travel with it. And the ED80 is no different. Uh, the ED80, though, also has a carbon fiber body, a really nice 2-inch focuser, and can take amazing wide field images. Um, Explore Scientific also includes a 2-inch diagonal on top of that. Uh, so to round out the package, it's a pretty awesome telescope. You don't need a giant telescope to have a nice telescope. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and have a good one.